Motorcycle crashes, they are increasing by the month in the low country. And some riders are still unsure how to be safe on the road. Well, here's some safety tips on how to be safe because it's not all about the gear. The precautions have to take place on both sides. So that means the drivers with four wheels must be just as aware as the riders with two. And lastly, drinking and riding. It's just as common as drinking and driving, and officials say it's a whole lot more dangerous on two wheels. So it's all about being aware of your bike, your surroundings, and your safety. In Charleston, Sierra Whaley, News 2. Former NFL star Aaron Hernandez was found dead in his prison cell last week. Hernandez was convicted of first-degree murder in the killing of his childhood friend Odin Lloyd in June 2013. His death was ruled a suicide and there were suicide notes found in his cell leading to his death. Many loved ones and friends are still uneasy as they say their final goodbyes in a private funeral for Hernandez today. But they believe that this was not his doing. Some family requested tests on his brain for CTE and of course some further investigation on his death. I'm Sierra Whaley and that's your sports with News 2. Tonight we are at game four between the Rays and the Swamp Rabbits at the Coliseum. Last night the Rays stole the game with a 6-0 win. Entering tonight's game, they are 1-2 in the overall series. It's better than 0-3. Last night, head coach Ryan Rosowski said that the adjustments that were made is how they got the W. But are they able to maintain the same amount of energy for game four? Well, we will see tonight as the Rays try and even out the series. I'm Sierra Whaley, and that's your sports with News 2. The Volvo Car Open is here, and it's open. That's right, we have the top players from Venus Williams to Caroline Wozniacki. We even have our favorite native, Shelby Rogers. She came back home to visit us. Tonight, we are at Game 6 as the Rays try and close out the series in advance. The Rays are leading 16-3 in a goal count within the past three games. And in Game 5, they landed their first on-the-road win in the playoffs. Head coach Ryan Rosas, he said before game five that if they got the W, they were hoping to bring it right on back home, and they are back home. So tonight, we will see if they close out the series to open up another one. I'm Sierra Whaley, and that's your sports with News 2. All right, starting in hockey today, game three, after the first two games on the road. The Stingrays and the Upper Blades are back in Charleston for the next three. After splitting in Florida, the Rays are hoping to take a 2-1 lead tonight at the Coliseum. The Rays trying to bounce back after losing game two. Offense almost non-existent for both sides. In the first, it's scoreless. Florida is pressing the Rays. Josh Wesley flips it to Levko with a quick flick, but Parker Milner's commit is way quicker. In the second, Florida's Dalton Smith with the no-look pass to Bryce Inoski. Milner once again with the no-no, still no score. Later on the Rays, they are on the move with two-man hockey with Rob Flick and John Parker. Parker shot straight into the mitt again. It would take a double overtime, but Andrew Cher Chernichin would score the winning goal. Rays take a 2-1 lead in the series. Game four is on Wednesday. Now, 253 athletes were selected in the NFL draft over the weekend. Burt graduate Fadal Brown was not one of them. However, the Ole Miss Rebel received a call after the draft. He'll be taking his talents to the Oakland Raiders. Brown signed as an undrafted free agent Sunday night, and he'll head to the West Coast on Thursday for rookie minicamp. We caught up with the new Raider to talk about that phone call, along with the possibility of playing in Las Vegas in the future. It was kind of hard watching at first, but uh, I knew my time was going to come eventually. I was real emotional. I was real happy to have, like, Raider fans tweet me or they send me messages, send me mail and stuff like that. Raider Nation as a whole is going to be new to the whole Vegas thing, so I just can't wait to get to Vegas. Got a chance to put that jersey on my back this year. It's a good feeling. All right, a quick update on the ladies in the soccer playoffs. Somerville, they went on the road and defeated West Florence. To nothing. They'll either play Fort D or River Bluff next round. James Island, they hosted Irmo and the Trojans come away with a 2-1 victory. Up next is Dutch Fork on Wednesday. Also, Wando Cruz's past Spring Valley 7-zip. On Daniel Island, the Battery, number one team in the Eastern Conference, they welcomed Ottawa Fury FC, the first meeting between the two. 
The guys riding a two-game win streak. At the 21st minute, Ottawa's Ryan Williams with the free kick opportunity. Williams nails this one into the left corner. Fury FC leading 1-0. At the 41st minute, the battery in scoring position. Michael Chang finds Romario Williams, who finds the back of the net. And this ties the game at one all. But in the end, this would end in a tie 2-2. Two two. I'm Sierra Whaley, and that's a look at your sports with News 2.